it doesn't feel like that. It doesn't feel like we're, we shouldn't be in training. It just feels like as soon as we knew we were in the playoffs, it feels exactly mm -hmm. that we're just, this is the season, still the season's continuing. Um, so, looking, enjoying training in the sun, that's been great. Um, looks like we'll be playing in the sun on Sunday, mm -hmm. so that'll be something as well to, to factor in and enjoy. But yeah, it's um, a nice build up now. The last week has, has been and gone, which has been good in a way because as soon as we finished the game and had the celebrations against Charlton, you're just looking forward to the game and it seems like an ever long time since since that game to mm. what this next game will be. So the build-up starts now, I think. Uh, it all starts to ramp up a little bit. It's a normal training week, as we would do uh, for, for any normal game. So it's uh, it's the, the excitement and the, the attention and the, uh, the build-up all starts mm. now. You look at that Charlton game, that first 15 minutes of the Valley, and they were throwing everything at you. But after that, for the two legs, I thought you were, you were superb. You must have been delighted the way that the, way the team played. But also, we expected that to happen in that first game. It happened exactly the same in the in the uh, away leg in the season, in the away game in the season. So we expected exactly that to happen. Um, and so you should, you know, they're at home in front of a big crowd. I made the decision on the day to kick towards their fans in that opening first half and uh, as we've done in the Valley um, in the first game and, and we expected their fans to kind of try and suck the ball in um, but that didn't happen we weathered that store and, uh, and went on and really showed exactly what we were about it felt like it felt a lot like back to what we're about yeah. uh, back to who we are and it was good to have that going into this final what are the scenes at the end of that two-legged? I mean, I've never, I've never heard it so, so, so noisy, crazy, really. Yeah, it was quite a bit of a relief in a way that 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 we hadn't fallen at that hurdle. You know, a one-nil victory away from home is always a tricky, tricky, tricky bit of result going into a second leg. Um, that you get a goal when they're on top, and it completely changes the tie all over again. So there's probably that element of relief. There was hell of a. Uh, a big noise, big shouts around this place. Uh, I was here for the the Torquay game when we'd lost 2-0 up their place and then this place was packed out again yeah. but it kind of fell flat because we didn't give them anything to cheer about. That didn't happen this time, we gave them a hell of a lot to cheer about and, uh, and they really responded so fingers crossed as many more can get down there on Sunday now. I know we're around the 9,500, 10,000 mark or something like that. So I read um, and that if we can get as many proud Shrewsbury people down into Wembley as possible. Yeah. I would just say it helps so, so much to have that uh, vocal voice, that uh, that intensity of, of Shrewsbury fans behind us. It will really help. Um, so as many as we can get down there, please, please do. Difficult game, Rotherham. Mm -hmm. Two tight games in the, in the league. Yeah, yeah, they're a good team. Finished fourth, only a few points behind us. Uh, they're a good, solid, uh, hard-working team. Mirror the the um, the way that the manager was as a, their manager, so he was as a player, hard working, physical, strong, athletic, um, who can play as well. Um, so they're uh, they're a tough team in some respects, very similar to ourselves. Um, they're a tough team, and they'll be uh, they'll be right up for the game. Their manager have got them right up for the game, and it'll be tough for us to come out on top of that. But we have to give it our all, give it our best. Um, and we hope if we can play to, to the levels we know we can play, that, that we'll get the job done. Does, does it help you playing Wembley already this season, do you think? We'll see. Uh, I've been asked that a few times and um, you'd like to think so, but who knows, you know. Um, we'll all find out on Sunday, I suppose. Without a question, this is, this is uh, the nature of this, having 48 games lead up to this game means that it's, it's, it's a big, big, probably a bigger game mm. than that. Well, it is, it's a bigger game than that checker trade game. So that adds that intensity and that adds, it adds to that um, all or nothing outcome. Uh, and we will see whether the experience of Wembley will help. You like to think it would, mm -hmm. um, but of course, time will tell on that. 90 minutes away from, potentially 120 minutes away from, from Championship football. Can you quite believe at the start of this season? Uh, no, probably no would be the answer. No, you'd say you'd say that uh, I think many people would have, have taken a season of consolidation, if you like. Um, but there were stages in that early parts of the season when we realised that we've got a good team here. Yeah. Uh, so for a long, long time we felt like contenders. Um, for a long, long time we felt like one of the best teams in this league. So that that. Uh, 
that psyche has probably changed in, in recent months. So, yeah, you know, it's, it's been a good season, uh, but ultimately, as I say, for a long, long time now, we felt like we're a team who can get promoted. So, we have to have to believe and have to show um, how good a team we are over again once more.